Anti-government rallies have filled the streets of Serbia's capital, Belgrade, for a second day. Protesters are angry over what they see as the government's mishandling of the coronavirus pandemic. A surge in new infections led to talk of curfews and a lockdown. Critics say the sharp spike in cases is the fault of Serbia's president, who lifted an earlier lockdown ahead of recent elections. Pandemic frustrations bubble over on the streets of Belgrade. Chaos erupted as thousands of protesters battled with police and tried to storm the parliament. They're angry over the president's handling of the coronavirus. The main reason we are here is to support the protesters during these abnormal times when the country is falling apart. Cases have spiked across the Balkan country in recent weeks. Serbia recorded its highest COVID-19 death toll on Tuesday. It forced President Aleksandar Vucic to take action, announcing a weekend curfew for Belgrade. But protesters have pushed him to backtrack. I considered it, but the crisis team thinks there's still hope to slow the spread. So we may introduce harsher measures, but without introducing a curfew. That hasn't been enough to keep the peace, as police and demonstrators face off with flares, fireworks and tear gas. Demonstrators say they want a return to normal and for the president to resign. Let's get the latest now from journalist Idro Seferi. He's following the protests and joins us now from the Serbian capital. Idro, give us a quick update. How bad were the clashes last night? Well, the clashes were very bad. I was out there in the streets till uh, zero 01 after midnight, and they were not stopping the group spread in uh, small streets after they started it in the in front of the parliament and the police couldn't take control basically all the serbian special units were there trying to uh, make peace in the streets of belgrade but it, it didn't look like this was going to happen and uh, i could hear uh, shock bombs tear gas and they were fighting really brutally uh, because protesters were throwing stones and also they had uh, some kind of shock bombs throwing back to the police and uh, it uh, went very bad at the end. Uh, everyone had to go there, the cleaning companies, to make uh, uh, the traffic function again. Very dramatic scenes indeed. What's this all about? anyway. People in lots of countries are unhappy with their government's handling of the pandemic, but they, they don't go on a violent rampage. Why is it different in Serbia? Because there were uh, two months lockdown and Serbia was in the 10 most, uh, most countries that were, were using uh, the pandemic to lock down uh, very hard the citizens. And then all of a sudden uh, Serbia declared uh, 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 victory uh, uh, against COVID-19. And then a few weeks later, there were elections. So demonstrators are saying that President Vucic was trying just to fake the figures or uh, using this uh, to control the citizens. And they were very unhappy, first of all, because he announced that from the Friday, they will be closed again. But then they say they are not happy with his politics because for the last eight years, he took control over everything in this country, and they are not happy how he's leading his politics. The number of coronavirus cases has exploded in Serbia recently. Do we know why? Well, it was, first of all, uh, opposition accused uh, President Vucic that he wanted to win these elections. They were first a uh, plan to be held on uh, uh, April 26, and then uh, they were postponed it, but he uh, organized them June 21st. So uh, before that also, he, uh, the government allowed a football match between Belgrade's Partisan and Serena Zvezda Red Star. Uh, so uh, around 20 people there were in the stadium. There were no measures in the whole country. So uh, all of a sudden, a week after elections, and uh, we uh, got to know here that uh, the pandemic was spreading also 
among people from Wuzi's party because he had a celebration after winning the elections and some ministers in the government also got it. And then it was in one of the cities of, of Serbia. Uh, it was very bad. So uh, people even attacked their Prime Minister Anna Brnabic saying that they are lying about what is going on. Peter, thank you very much for bringing us up to date there. That was journalist Idro Seferi in Belgrade. Now, let's bring you up to date on some of the latest coronavirus developments. The United States has passed 3 million cases. Wednesday saw the biggest daily increase in new infections so far. More than 130,000 Americans have died from COVID-19. Kyrgyzstan and other Central Asian nations are struggling with the surge in cases, pushing healthcare systems to the breaking point. Lockdowns there were lifted in May. Nigeria now has more than 30,000 confirmed coronavirus cases. Almost 700 people have died from COVID-19 there. 